79 year old Shirley Bennett loved to make friends everywhere she walked. But yesterday evening she was killed by a hit and run driver. That driver was eventually caught after police say he hit a car in another city. Seven Action News reporter Kimberly Craig joins us live from Sterling Heights. And Kim, what can you tell us about Shirley? Yes, Heather and Dave, relatives say Shirley's husband Jim is just devastated. They've been together for 63 years, but yesterday here on Ryan Road, just south of Metro Parkway, she was killed by a hit and run driver, a man who police suggest may have had two pounds of marijuana in his car. I, I lost my mind. I was begging the officers out there, just tell me it's not her. Sally and her daughter Megan feared the woman killed by a hit and run driver in front of their jewelry store on Ryan Road near Metro Parkway was their friend Shirley Bennett. The 79 year old Sterling Heights woman had just left them. She was in my store literally not even 10 minutes before that happened, dropping a gift to my granddaughter. A Christmas gift. This afternoon, 58 year old Adnan Oraha was charged in the deadly hit and run. Some of his children and his wife were in court with his defense attorney and an interpreter for Oraha, who is from Iraq but has been an American citizen for a very long time. Hey, that time was stop that. Yes, thank you. Araha now charged with failure to stop at the scene of an accident resulting in serious impairment or death. His attorney could not say why he didn't stop. Araha was arrested in Troy after police there say he sideswiped a car. Officers say they found two pounds of marijuana near that crash scene and they believe it's connected. I believe that marijuana is not related in any way to this accident. Uh, again, he's a 59 year old father of five children. Um, if there's marijuana, I, this is the first I'm hearing of it. She loved yeah. walking. She walked everywhere. Just yesterday, Shirley Bennett dropped off a Christmas gift she had for Sally's granddaughter, an angel and a book she made. Shirley wrote, for the love of Jesus Christ, love Jim and Shirley Bennett. And we would tell her, we would tell her, please, Shirley, be careful crossing the street. Please, we would beg her. She's like, Jesus is with me. And police say they're investigating whether drugs or alcohol was involved in this deadly hit and run. Now, what did not come out in court is that according to state records, Adnan Oraha was convicted of a drunk driving crash that injured two people. That happened back in 2013 here in Sterling Heights. And his license, we're told by the state, was not even suspended. It was actually just restricted for about three months. Reporting live in Sterling Heights, Kimberly Craig. 7 Action News. Very sad, very tragic. Kim, thank you for the live report.